Hey, C here, and I just got hit by a wave of nostalgia with this music and these sounds. This is Phantasy Star Online Blue Burst Ultima. Now, I have played Phantasy Star Online before on the Dreamcast. Good old Dreamcast, I was one of the five people who owned the Dreamcast. I didn't actually own it, it was my friends and I borrowed it and Phantasy Star Online was one of my favorite games to play there. But then uh, we had to give the Dreamcast back and I did play it on the PC. Blue Burst is a PC version of Phantasy Star Online, but I swear there was a version before Blue Burst because I played without all of the extra things that were added in Blue Burst. It was only the one in the episodes one and two and blue bears also adds episode four and a bunch of other things as well uh, that were added in the plus version of the gamecube um but yeah ultima is a private server done by f maintained by fans of fantasy star online because the official servers were closed way way long ago uh so yeah let's start a game and i'll show you all of the things that hit right in the nostalgia <laughs> um, and yeah I did make a character already because I needed to get back into it and understand a few things uh, but I'm gonna make a new character this time and I'll s this is the intro cutscene I'll try to read but it goes really fast The Pioneer Project, a plan born of desperation, conceived in response to the imminent destruction of their own worlds. Now these are the classes and races you can play as. That was the Hunter class. With all of the different races you can play under the Hunter class. I'll explain more in a bit. This is the Ranger class, with all of the races you can play in the Ranger class. Our plans for the evacuation began way too fast. Pioneer 1 confirmed that way too fast. <laughs> Seven years later, I, we don't know what later, like from what Pioneer 2 completed its long voyage, for sure, these are the force. This is the Force class, and all of the races you can play under it, which is my favorite. The Force class has always been my favorite. Although I just found out that the Force class is uh, apparently not recommended for beginner, and I would always go for that, <laughs> like since the very beginning, and like just because it, the Force class is basically the magic class, but like in a sci-fi world um, but uh, yeah I'm not even trying to read anymore <laughs> uh, but apparently that's the hardest class to play it says in the game and uh, yeah but I played this game when I didn't really know English I was just a child who didn't know English so I couldn't really read or understand I would just play by feel and uh, it's incredible how many games I played without really understanding them. But this is the character creation. Now, again, I played a different version when I was younger, so this looks quite a bit different. And there are a few things that were added in the plus version of the GameCube that I didn't play with. In most of the games, in most of the RPGs, you usually choose the race first and the class second. In this one, it's the opposite. You choose the class first between Hunter, Ranger and Force and then you choose the race. The classes are Hunter, Ranger and Force. Hunter is basically a melee uh, attack. Uh, Ranger is a distance weapon, so like guns and stuff like that. Force is, as I said, the kind of sci-fi magic class. Um, within each 
class, there are a few things, a few races that you can play as. For hunters, you can play either as a male human, a female human, which is basically like an elf-like uh, class uh, race. I guess by the I don't really know the lore of Fantasy Star, but I guess just by the name alone, humans are like an evolution of humans. I don't know, but um, male human, female human, and male androids. Now, female androids were also added. Uh, later in the plus version of the GameCube and they look so cool. Now Rangers as I said are the long distance guys and you can play as either male or female humans, female humans were added in the plus version that I said before, or male and female androids. Usually if I will play rangers, I usually don't play hunters because I don't like melee, but if I will play rangers, I usually go for female androids because they look so cute. Uh, these images, by the way, are just like um, examples, because then you can create your own character with uh, their unique look. Uh, there is a whole character creation thing. Now, female human ranger does sound interesting and I'm might try it out at some point, but not today, because my favorite class has always been Force, because I've always been into magic users in all RPGs, especially because Forces are excellent as support, and you know me, I'm a support main. <laughs> uh, so for... Uh, you might have noticed that there's no Newmans for Rangers. Apparently, uh, Newmans are not good with weaponry, like long distance weaponry, but they're really good with magic. So, there's male Newmans and female Newmans. I've always hated the male Newmans just from this picture alone. Even though you can create your own character, that guy made, made me hate male Newman Force users. Um, but you can play as female humans and male humans were added in the plus version uh, of the GameCube. Now, uh, I this this will be my my most used one. I would always go for a female human force because uh, she's just so cute, and they they're always so cute. Like I'm gonna show a couple of examples. Look at all of them. Look at all of them. They're all they're all so cute. I love them all. <laughs> Uh, but this time, I think I'm gonna go for the male human, just because it's new and I haven't tried it. So, let's see. You know, I don't know what where this name came from, but Galen. Galen it is. Uh, let's go. He's a Skyly section ID. Okay, I don't remember what the section ID does, but that's the thing we got. Um, and yeah, I oh this this one, this thing. Oh, I can control the the sparkle there. Oh, that's so nostalgic. Okay, so Ultima, let's go block one. There's a few more people in there. Uh, I'm not gonna go with them because they're all level two hundred and stuff, but. This thing was not in the version I played. Also, listen to this. Listen to this cat song. They're just meowing and purring. I love it. It's so cute. Uh, it got me. It took me a while to figure out how to actually get to the main part of the game uh, from here, but. Uh, yeah, this was not a thing in the version that I played. You need to be in a party. So. I'll show you why, like, these guys, level 165, this is why I'm not gonna be with these people, <laughs> but, uh, so this is why I'm gonna create a party. Now, episode 1, party name, I'm just gonna do 1, 2, 3, because I don't really care. Play mode, you can choose to be just one person and go solo. But I'm gonna keep it up, uh, just in case anybody, there's only 10 people in the server, it's such an old game, uh, such an old niche game, it was already niche back then, that now, of course, there's only, like, 
about 10 people playing and uh, that's kind of sad but it is also uh, it is also really nice that it's still going. If anybody wants to join, I'm more than glad. And if any of you people watching this s like the game and want to join me in, in the game, I will be more than happy to play with you because this is such a nostalgic game for me and I used to have so much fun playing it with other people, with random strangers online. Uh, when I was young, probably shouldn't have been allowed, but uh, I would love to play with you. So this is actually where all of the people would would be in in the game that I remember, in the version that I remember. I remember everybody spawning in here and then once you chose a quest, it would only be your party. And here you could choose a quest from the Hunter's Guild. Uh, these are would only be like special quests like in this case it's from the server itself or special events uh, exterminations uh, stuff like that but the main quest would not be here the main quest would be over here to the principal we'll go there real quick but uh, first I want to show you a bit around uh, because this is where this is basically the bank this is the deposit uh, thing and you could deposit or withdraw your money or your items and I remember again people would be here a lot of people would be here in the golden days and I remember I uh, while playing that there was this Portuguese guy. I don't speak Portuguese. I speak Spanish, but they're kind of um, uh, What's the what's the word like? Interreadable no, I don't remember the, the actual word uh, for when one language can kind of understand another language uh, but yeah, I will speak Spanish uh, especially if you speak Argentinian Spanish, it is a bit more similar to Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese. This guy ended up giving me so much money and so much cool items. I was, you know, lower levels and I got very good items that I could not have gotten unless I would have been a much higher level. But this is the shop. This guy is basically the identifier if you find something that you don't know what it is, uh, like an unidentified item. Uh, this guy is the armor guy, this is the weapons guy, and this is the item guy. And I'm gonna go buy stuff for her from her. This is the tools shop, you can buy like HP, recovery or TP is basically the magic thing. I kind of want this, but I guess I can't afford it. Can we use once to learn the technique? This is, uh, these are the magic stuff. So, technique that boosts teammates attack power. Why can I not, why is it grayed out? It is level one and this as well. But, let me show you real quick. Uh, because I do need to equip stuff because I don't have anything equipped so let's equip a, the, my cane my frame and my mug oh my god my mug I'll show you once we're in the in the actual level a mug is this little guy and it will follow you around and you can feed it things to make it evolve and depending on what you feed him it will evolve in a different way and it will help you with a uh, basically boosting your stuff, your your stats and uh, it's so cute and so fun to play with but um, what I want to do is customize my action menu now these are the heavy attack and the actual attack that we will be able to have this like a shortcut window uh, monomate is the healing thing and then if you press control, you have the other action menu. 
like a secondary action menu that you can choose to have your other things like for example foy is a fire technique the techniques are what uh we call the the spells basically because again it's sci-fi it's not actual magic so let's go to the principle and get to the first story quest we need to talk to her to get it Planet Rackle, yes. Are you Galen, the Force? I'm Principal Tyrell. We have a bad situation, we need to act quickly. Did you hear about the explosion on Rackle? Very well, pay attention to and listen to me. We lost contact with Pioneer 1. Pioneer 1 is basically Earth. Uh, so, again, I don't really know much of the story because I couldn't understand English. <laughs> when I played this, but Pioneer 1 is basically Earth and we created Pioneer 2 which is this space arc uh, that we're on right now. Um, but yeah, we have no idea what has happened. We've sent probes, but communication always gets cut off near the surface. What happened on Ruggle and Pioneer 1? Are the people still alive? The council made a decision to send a man search team. You are skilled for us, we need your help. We have no choice, we need a place to settle in. Ask Irene, my secretary, for further details. Uh, could you... No, it's nothing. Take care and good luck. So, let's go. Let's ask the secretary. Well, let me brief you on your mission. Once you're on Ruggle, check the status of the residential area. Checking the status of the central dome is a good idea. The teleporter was launched earlier. You can go to Ruggle directly from here. It may be a little risky, so please be careful. That's all. Um, excuse me? Oh, sorry. No, nothing. I wish you the best of luck. Now, I wonder what that is, what that's all about, but uh, let's go. Now, this right here is basically like the Poké Center. You can go here to heal between missions, or if you die, you... Uh, you basically get taken there but this is the teleporter to get you to where you need to go to your quests and stuff and uh, yeah you can see here we're in the game and uh, there's a little mug god I love mugs I always wanted one in real life But yeah, basically the uh, the things on the side there, on the action panel, are basically what you need to press. Uh, you move with WASD, but the, the action panel is what you need to press for the arrow keys. So down is a normal attack, and left is a heavy attack. Now these attacks, you can't really spam them, because if you do, you'll just do that. But you can combo them, like this. And you can also combo different things. Like, what is recommended, kind of, is do this and then the last attack to heavy, a heavy one. Uh, and then if you do this, you can just cast a thing. But it does cost you TP, which is basically the mana of this force users have very little HP uh, but they have a lot of TP which means we should probably focus more on using techniques ouch because look at that just with one attack we are basically dead already Oh no, okay, uh, I was trying not to use the the thing, uh, but how? I guess we have to. I'm gonna die, I died. <laughs> I was trying to conserve my TPs, but yeah, this is where if you have another teammate, the teammate could use a moon atomizer to revive you, uh, but those of course cost 
and uh, we don't have that much money to start with. And as I said, we <laughs> we resurrected it from the Poké Center, but the the things you do here stay the same. They don't spawn back. Like these guys don't spawn back. So ouch, ouch. That is very rude, sir. And I leveled up! Nice. Oh, what? That's not fair. You were all dead. I just said you don't respawn. They didn't respawn, it's the second wave. But uh, uh, you're making me look bad. And you're dead. Oh, come on! <laughs> Can you all stop? Please, just please. Oh, another thing I need, I needed to do in the customize, I do really need to add monofluid to recover TP instead of... There we go. I don't know if they did it on purpose using the force as the magic of this system, let's say. But uh, yeah, like that is basic. That is basically is the magic of sci-fi. Fuck! As you can see, yeah, uh, force users are really not too good <laughs> if you if you're alone. Let's go see if there is something else I can buy. Some other attack I can buy. A zone oh, there's a zone to level 1. Okay. Nice. We got a um, uh, zone thing. Uh, so in the item pack, I can go here and uh, learn zone Which then I will put in... Here. Oh, there's only one. Where did the other guy go? There we go. So this, I think, costs less H, less TP, but I think it hurts less as well. Okay, these guys always used to annoy me because they jump around. Oh, these things! Oh God, no, no, I hate these things. That was a waste. Oh, Nafts is joining the game. So Nafts, having joined the game, is gonna join... Oh my god, I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Just let me move! <sighs> having joined the game only just now, he is gonna join from the beginning of the level, so he will need to, to track their way here. Now, I don't know why they joined. <laughs> I don't know why a level 160 would choose to join a level 3 <laughs> person online, but okay. Oh, they gave me... That's a lot of meseta. <laughs> And now they're gonna take care of everything? I don't know. So, they seem to be a hunter. Maybe. I'm not sure if they're a hunter, but... Okay, no, I like that. They're not actually doing anything for me, they're just taking the brunt of it. Which is fair enough. Watch me die anyway. She's not killing anybody until I, uh, I already hit them so that I can get the experience from it. What was that? Oh. Oh, they're getting me... <sighs> Remember what I said about the Portuguese guy, but uh, at least At least this one is um, Is speaking English. I'll go back. I'll heal real quick. I Might buy a few things with so much money that I got from that person so kind uh, but um, 
As far as the video goes, I think this is all the time that I have. Yeah, it only costs money if you do it in between. It doesn't cost money to just resurrect. You know what? The best view has always been, like, my favorite view has always been from here because you look at the city there. This is where I'm gonna leave it for today. Let me know in the comments what you think about this game because it used to be one of my favorites. I love it, I love it so much. And I would love to continue playing it. So if you want to play with me, let me know in the comments. I will leave a link in the description for the game's website where you can download it or you can find more information about it. And uh, yeah. Please, if you want if you want to play this game, please let me know and let's play together because I love this game so much and it is so much fun with other people as well. I mean, it is Fantasy Star Online after all. Uh, but yeah, this is all the time I have for this video, so thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe as always and I'll see you next time. Bye!